Good morning, everybody. I'm Steve Vanderbond. You're watching Vanderbond's Wildlife. I'm with my son Brandon. He and I are going to head out, put the boat into the water in Bradington. We're using our 17 foot aluminum dinghy that we've used up Michigan, Lake Michigan, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, down in the Gulf had it down in Miami and the Keys, just fun little boat, something small that we could haul back and forth to Florida from Michigan, Massachusetts, but we're, uh, we're boat shopping right now, so we're hoping we can find something relatively soon, but I'm thankful for what we have and we're going to use it. Use what you got, baby. Alright, well, we're trying to catch bait. It's going to be tough today. Wind cold front probably shut things down a little bit but hey we're out here to have fun too Brandon's already got us some pinfish a big mullet medium sized mullet probably use him for cut bait not sure if we'll be able to get out into the bay today or not just simply because of the wind but we'll play it by ear Good job, buddy. Over the bucket. Good job, man. That'll work. That boat for cheap, Brandon. What do you think? Yeah, probably. Actually. Which probably shouldn't make fun of other people's misfortune. That's sad, though. Ten inches. Yep. Mangrove snapper. They call them snappers because that's exactly what they do. You don't want to get bit by one of them dogs. Oh yeah. Yeah, get him. Get him. Oh, that's a good one, he should keep. Snapper. All right, let's get the release on him. Little mangrove. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. So what we're doing right now is we found this little channel. It drops off from like a foot and a half to roughly I don't know. It's like seven, eight feet right here. But so we got a little bit of a drop off here. The bridge is right there. We're hoping we could just throw some pinfish out and maybe there's something hanging off the edge catching the bait fish when they come off the flat. Not very big. Ah. <laughs> Lizard. Look at how yellow he is. Set of chompers on that guy. All right, well, let's try that again. Good job, Brandon. Little grouper. That's what we were after. Can't go out deep, but we'll get them however we can get them. Little gag grouper. Check him out. Little baby gag. Very cool. All right. Let's get another one. Did 
you know that these coumarans in other countries, they have them with steel rings around their necks that are tied to a rope that's tied to the boat. And the fishermen will just putz along and when they get into a school of fish, the coumaran automatically just jump right out of the boat and they swim down and they catch a fish but with the ring around their neck they're not able to swallow it so they come back up to the side of the boat and the fisherman just literally grabs the fish out of their mouth puts them in the bucket talk about your ultimate fish finder huh the adult one just said these guys don't know what they're doing and took off Come on, you can keep up, fella. You can keep up. I think he's hungry. What do you think, Brandon? These birds know how to get a free meal. Every time we throw the net, they come around and land right on the motor. They are beautiful. Spiraling. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. That's a pretty old one too. These remores are just hanging, hanging out underneath them. Taking a nibble every now and then. Well, we called the FWC. They're gonna come down and check it out. I don't know if we left them the coordinates and stuff like that. But anytime you guys see a dead turtle, you need to call it in. And that way you can relay the information. We just sent them some pictures of the turtle, showing the damage and stuff. We just gotta, we gotta be careful out here because it, you know these guys, this turtle could be 50 years old or older. So the loggerhead was put on the endangered species list back in like 1978. Whoever hit this probably never even saw the turtle. And they come up, they breathe, they go back down, and they're not super fast. They're amazing animals. And it stinks to see what we just saw today, uh, but hopefully uh, we all can learn something and be a little more aware. I know we've been trying to be. Isn't it, bud? Yep. Ah, oh, don't break, don't break. What's up, fella? like to get the hook out, but we're not going to keep them out of the water long. Alright, let me just give him some air here. I got to let go of his gills a second. 
so he can breathe. See him pumping the water through his gills. Got himself a set of choppers on him. You guys see they actually have a protective layer that goes over their eyes. See when I touch his eye, I gotta hurry up and get him back in the water. But isn't that amazing? Sharks are amazing creatures. Look at the gills inside there. They need to constantly keep moving. Pump water through their gills. I'd say he's doing fine and he wants to get me. You see him? Away he goes. How fun is that? Awesome. subscribe button and that way who knows maybe we can turn this into something don't forget hit the subscribe button why can i not say that word subscribe